Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you're new, we do movie and series reviews with monthly wrap-up tier lists uh, with the occasional game board content. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, consider hitting that subscribe button. The witches are back 29 years later. Is it 29 years too late? Is this sequel worth checking out on Disney Plus? Like so many, I do have a very special warm little spot in my heart for the original Hocus Pocus that came out back in 93 um actually this is the very first movie that i can recall checking out in theaters i do love that betty kathy sarah and doug came back to reprise their iconic roles as the saunderson sisters and also billy butcher to have a new teenage group this is just a little friend group i know in the first one when we had max allison and uh daddy of course we had that brother sister bond and in the love interest but here it's just the uh, trio of girls Girls, uh, one which was kind of you know kind of becoming the popular kid I am a little bit torn you know of course I have that nostalgia feeling for the original and even though I was excited I mean follow me on Instagram you would have seen like all my whole prep and I was very excited I've had a little watch party here at home it let me down in the sense of I don't even know in what sense to be honest with you because I really shouldn't have expected much. Is this straight to Disney Plus? The movie generally does give you a Disney original movie feel to it. Of course, it's still very, very family friendly. It is more modernized. The one from the 90s obviously was more, I feel like, suspenseful, more, they took more chances because obviously they didn't know what they had. You know, it was some witches that were trying to eat and suck the souls of the children of Salem and live forever, right? It was very that. And then over here, it feel like they were being more careful because again, we are in 2022. We had to incorporate certain things to not offend the generation of today. <laughs> I just, y'all gonna come after me on child. Prime example is like towards the end of the movie with book. Book, you have a decision to make. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? It's a damn book. Now I can already see people coming at me. Well, it's a book that can make a decision for itself. It's a book that has a mind, so yes, okay. There was also too much singing, and I know that they made a comment about they love to sing. They sung one song in the original one, and it fit with the storyline. I don't know if they're talking about like Sarah's Come Little Children, but again, that has something to do with luring the children, you know, like that's them putting them into hypnosis. So they're like, they mentioned it like they just love to sing and they love to sing. And I'm just like, from where? Like, it's like part of the backstory that we just didn't get from prior that they love to sing. I wasn't particularly fond of the flashbacks either. I just feel like this is such a well-known movie that it could have done without the flashbacks. And they definitely could have used that time to kind of give us more backstory on our three uh, main ladies, Becca, Izzy, and Cassie. And I just feel like we didn't get enough side story, like unlike Max in the original, you know, we kind of knew where he was at his headspace and like, you know, with, um, what's it called, um, Danny and Allison. But I don't really feel like we got too much from our main characters. Like I really didn't, care for them too much like the whole magical powers which is not a spoiler because you know in the trailer you would have seen that they say on the 16th birthday which can get her power so but i'm just like where did those powers come from it does have like better production and everything but there's some stuff that i still like better how it looked and 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 was in the original one like book i didn't really like the updated version of book here we do also get more of billy here and more of his backstory out of everybody's backstory we got more of billy at this point in time um they're very of course well known there's people in the towns dressed as the saunderson sisters of course we've always known the story even in the beginning if i had literally filmed this video like right after it wouldn't have been this way you guys these are really more i think now that i'm sitting here and like really letting my feelings kind of go out there it's kind of getting worse and worse you guys it really is but let's just say um i had a pretty decent time with the film definitely could have been way way worse like 
I know that. We all know that it could have been like way worse. And I know a lot of people still do think that it's a lot worse uh, than what we think. But I feel like those are the ones that really did weren't even fans of the original one. That's what I've been um, noticing a lot. Of course, there's always that message about family. Uh, but this time, uh, we also have a friendship uh, message in there as well. So at the end of the day, it really is a great little family movie. It's not a movie that I feel will be in my rotation as far as like yearly halloween movies it's not a movie that i plan to re-watch again this year before i do give you my final score if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the uh, notification bell so you'll be notified each other to post something new since we are within the spooky time now i do want to remind you that my third annual fright night is uh gonna be coming out so hocus pocus 2 um as much as i was really excited to watch it and i really put myself up there to have this movie you know like up here it did kind of start letting me down the more time I had to think about it the more flaws I had with it uh, it is too modernized for my liking it was just fun you guys it was still a fun little movie to start off the spooky season with it's a great family uh, friendly film it's nothing scary you guys i guess billy would be the scariest thing but honestly he's like i'm a good zombie all that said even though i did say this review was supposed to be quick but heck once i started going i'm just like look i'm debating what i want to get you know what i'm i just feel like this medium is too big <laughs> <laughs> like a small medium oh we have combos right i'm giving it a small with the coke yes if you've seen hocus pocus 2 let me know down below what did you think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you were you a fan of the original did you get a chance to check it out in theaters or when was the first time that you recall seeing that let's do that instead all right guys that's it for me today until next time i'll see you guys in the concessions bye